I, I mentioned Dale Murphy. I know he's still around the Braves, and you guys just had an alumni weekend recently. Shouldn't he be in the Hall of Fame? Because in the 1980s, listen, in the early 80s, I mean, MVPs back-to-back carried a bad Braves team to the playoffs a couple times. I feel like he doesn't get the respect he deserves over the long haul. No, I agree. Um, listen, it's all those factors, right? Back-to-back MVPs, how many guys have done that? Uh, his numbers um, for that era were, you know, at the top of the game. I mean, you talk about guys who uh, so often uh, the criteria is not only statistically, but did they dominate their era? Were they one of the best players of their era? I think Murph certainly uh, checks that box as well. Um, and then, you know, go beyond that. Who has been a, a more upstanding representative of the game of baseball than Murph? I mean, there's not a nicer guy on the planet. Uh, he, you know, he was that, uh, you know, wholesome, uh, you know, that, you know, that's the kind of guy you want your daughter to bring home and tell you that she's dating. Right. I mean, that, that's Murph. And, um, I think all those things combined, uh, make him the kind of guy that you would be honored to have in the hall of fame alongside you. So look, I'm hoping, I'm hoping he gets in there eventually. Uh, again, I think his numbers warrant it. Um, and I know for me, uh, again, you talk about, being the guy in your era, you know, my first three years in the big leagues, nobody came to see the Atlanta Braves. They came to see Dale Murphy. Uh, and, and that's saying something. So obviously it's a guy that you respected. I didn't want to ask this. I so I'm just saying glad uh, okay. you're, friend, you're right. friend. So I just want you to know, I didn't want to ask this. I'm letting Scott handle yeah, this. It's, it's a billion years later when, when, when he's on the other side, you you and his squad had some beef for a little bit going with the Phillies. It was like, yeah, I mean, Dale, I, I believe it was Dale Murphy appreciation night, and there was like a little brawl then, and then it kept carrying for a few weeks yep. after that. It was, uh, you know, it was an interesting situation. So, you know, we had a brawl um, with Philadelphia in Atlanta, and, you know, uh, Otis Nixon charged Wally Ritchie and, uh, things got crazy. So we went, we went to Philadelphia. If it wasn't the next weekend, it was shortly thereafter. Um, and we fully expected that Otis was going to get hit. Uh, we had talked about it, you know, going to get hit. Let's just take it, move on and, and go about our business. Well, Friday night's game happened and Otis didn't get hit. Saturday night, Otis didn't get hit. Now here we are Sunday, Otis first pitch of the eighth inning gets drilled by Roger McDowell. And I'm sitting there on the bench and I see Bobby get up and he's walking my way. And I knew exactly what he was going to say. He's like, he's like, glad you got to hit Murph. And I was like, Bobby, come on. I said, let me, let me get Murph out. Let me hit the second hitter was Charlie Hayes. I think I said, let me hit Charlie. He's like, no, no, you got to hit Murph. You got to hit Murph. So I was like, you know, all right. And now mind you, again, when I got to the big leagues, you know, Murph, Murph was my guy. I mean, he took me under his wing like he did every young player, you know, kind of showed you the ropes, how to go about your business, how to do all those things. Um, And he was Mr. Atlanta Brave, you know. So for me to have to hit him obviously was not a great situation. And I, you know, I tried, um, missed him on the first one. And then, you know, he kind of looked at me and knew what was going on. And and by, I think, the third pitch, before I even got it out of my hand, he was just about out of the batter's box. So, um, you know, it was one of those things that was, I, you know, in hindsight, I did not handle it as well as I should have. I should have just hit him and been done with it. Um, but you know, it was one of those things that again, at the time, uh, you know, I was a young guy and here's this Atlanta legend and trust me, I didn't hit him. And, but the amount of fan mail I got after that, that just ripped me a new one from Braves fans, like, who are you to be throwing at Dale Murphy? And I mean, it was just, you know, it was, it was crazy, but you know, I guess the, so the whole scenario it was funny. I was, you know, when I came back to the Braves in 08, Roger McDowell was the pitching coach and we were sitting in the, one of the offices at the ballpark during a rain delay. And, and the, one of the clubhouse kids pulled that video up and showed it. And, and, you know, I said to Roger, I said, you know, you're the only guy that's ever caused me to get thrown out of a game. And now here you are my pitching coach. He's like, yeah, well, the, he said, you know, the story behind that was, we went into that series fully expecting to hit Otis. And he said, given the makeup of our pitching staff, he said, I told Wally Ritchie, he said, if nobody gets him, when I get in the game, whenever that is, I'll get him. Well, Roger didn't get in the game till Sunday in the eighth inning. Uh, so he fulfilled a promise. So 
That's kind of why it waited. That's kind of why it took so long to get him. Did you and Murph talk after that? Did you call him and say, hey, Murph, man, I'm sorry. I was, I was forced. Bobby, you know, put it all on Bobby's shoulders. Like, hey, it was Bobby. It was his fault. <laughs> No, we did because you know you remember Philadelphia in those days. Well, I, mean, I don't know if you do or you don't. You may not have. Played I played at the vet in the old. I played vet. at the vet. Okay, so the old, yeah, the old vet. You know where you come out of your clubhouses and you're in the tunnel and you kind of both have to walk to the same elevator to get out of there. Um, as I was walking out, Murph was over in the tunnel by our locker room, so he grabbed me and we talked. And he, you know, he said, "Look, I understand what's going on. I, I know what was going on, and you know, no hard feelings, no big deal, whatever." So he was he was good about it. Okay, that's good. Did he know that you have a hockey background? When he charged them out, does he know you were drafted? Uh, he probably like, did. I mean, you were drafted he, ahead of Brett Hall. You were drafted ahead of, I mean, some Hall of Fame guys here. I mean, did he know that, you know, you were yeah, like, but, you drop know, the gloves and let's go? Uh, I mean, Murph's a big guy, so he, he's got a, you know, he had a size advantage on me. Now, I probably would have felt comfortable taking him on on skates. I don't know about taking him on in sneakers. That might have been a different problem. <laughs> <laughs>